Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your January 2018 reading. Happy New Year. This is for the sign of Aquarius. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. This is for the sign of Aquarius. So if something falls out, I'm just going to let it go. I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. I need to remind you that this is not a private reading, okay? This is for a general audience, so, you know, hundreds and thousands of people, okay? So take what resonates and just leave the rest. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out. Now time is fluid. This is being recorded in December, so this could resonate in December or January or even February, okay? Right off the bat, I can see that this month is about decisions. It's about choices, making the right choice, okay? I think there's some confusion going on, you know, with the Seven of Cups being the basis of your reading. There's some confusion. All right, be careful with your choice. And, and I think that you know you need to be careful with it. There's a choice that needs to be made, a decision that you really need to contemplate on, reevaluate the circumstances from every direction, okay? Be careful what you own, okay? And I know you probably heard this from me, from me before, but with the Seven of Cups, hold back. I mean, really think about a decision because it will stay with you for a very long time, okay? Be careful with your, a choice that you are going to make this month because what you own owns you, okay? That is the basis of your reading. You, a cycle is near the end, okay? Or there's a change that is needed with the moon card. The moon is about cycles. It is reversed. So it appears to me like um, there's some kind of um, completion on the horizon, okay? Um, it looks like you could be bringing some peace back to your life after a time of discontent, you know, a time of feeling uh, at, at a loss, okay? You may have been feeling withdrawn, uh, very uh, cold perhaps, and if it's not you, it's another person. There is a withdrawn, cold, overly emotional individual in your reading. Whether it's you or another person, there is somebody here that is withdrawn and um, probably not uh, offering much support to you, okay, emotionally. Uh, there's definitely some uh, spiteful energy, and I'm not sure if that's you or somebody else, but there's a spiteful um somebody like very hard-hearted in this reading and I'm not sure who it is but there's somebody who is very closed off in your life whether it's you or the other person somebody has um, closed themselves off to communication okay it looks like somebody's not communicating all right there there's a lack of drive a lack of energy a lack of care a lack of uh love I mean there really is with these three cards I mean there's a lack of of passion so you know if that's where you want to be then that's where you will be and that's what this card says okay there, there's a need to let go of control here let things go with the flow okay it's time to release something very heavy I think many of you are carrying around a something that you really don't want to carry around maybe there's a secret you're holding in that you need to let go of and it's it's just killing you you know something is being hidden that needs to come out it's weighing very heavy heavy and until you let it go, it's going to keep weighing you down, weighing you down. There's absolutely a lack of compromise, a lack of communication. 
Um, and you know, because of that, because there's such a withdrawal here, there's a lack of emotional support. Or there's a lack of love. I mean, there is. And I'm sorry to tell you that. The thing is, is you have the power to change this whole situation. You do. And you do that by acting in love. You know, you you change the whole situation around by giving love. Okay? There's, this is an opportunity for you to turn the situation around by offering an abundance of love, okay? It feels to me like somebody is contemplating freeing themselves from something. They haven't quite done it yet. Somebody is ready to end a cycle and move on. And so maybe that's why it's a period of withdrawal, a period of non-action, a lack of energy, a lack of drive, a lack of passion. Maybe there, because there's so many, so much contemplation, you know, uh, of reevaluation. Okay, this, it's a time of discovering what you want to do, where you want to go. Uh, what's it going to happen? You know what I mean? I think that's what's going on. It, there's confusion this month a lot. What is going to happen? And that's what's going on. You, there's a lot. There's many, many, many thoughts going in. Okay. And I think because there's so, so there's so much, there's like an overwhelming amount of uh, thoughts. Okay, then and they definitely are weighing you down. It's like, oh my god, this is too much, and it is too much. It feels like there's a lot of mysteries here which are causing the confusion. It's like, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm not I'm not happy where I'm at. I know that I mean for many of you, you're not happy where you're at, but you're scared. You you're scared to the point where you just don't know what to do. And you know, maybe somebody needs counseling because this is seeking guidance, seeking counseling. You know, I think that somebody has to get something off of their chest because it is like eating them alive. That's what I see. And I feel like you've been trying to keep things in and hold it in and not tell the secret, not tell the truth. I mean, not that you're a liar. I'm not saying that, but not speak up, not speak your truth when you should be. You know, I think it is definitely time to speak up rather than hold it in. It's time to be just. It's time to be honest. And it's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to bring balance back to your life. You know, and I think that's where the confusion comes in. It's like, if I speak up, I'm not sure if this will bring the balance back to my life. You know, I think there's there's definitely confusion here. But with the Tower card, it tells me that there was a false foundation and, you know, it's time to to fix it. It's time to start building yourself back up again. Okay? Um, and you do that with love. Love for yourself. You need to love yourself first and foremost. Okay? I have to let you know that you could be having very vivid dreams this month. Pay attention to your dreams. They are trying to tell you something. Okay? Um peace will come back to your life by the end of the month i understand that the beginning is going to be rough you know it's a new year and that's when people usually think the most so don't think you're alone i think this is because it's the beginning of 2018 you got a lot going on thinking 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 what is what am i going to do this year you know, and it's bringing you some confusion. And because of that, you may be withdrawn completely from the outside world. I mean, that's what it feels like. There's like there's a lack of of taking action. There's a lack of of communicating. All right. And you may be feeling like you just want to be alone to figure this out, to make this difficult decision. This is a difficult decision. It could have to do with... Um, a choice versus um, uh, materialistic things or love because the seven of cups will often indicate that and that is the basis of your reading are you looking for financial security or security in your home or security other than love okay because that's the choice do you do you choose what's in the cups or do you choose what's outside of the cups okay to find true love, you I mean, I'm going to give you advice here. You should be choosing the love, 
if you are working on or thinking about choosing stability and security in materialistic ways over love, then you know you're going to be lacking in the love department. Okay, and that's that's the advice of this card. Choose wisely because what you own owns you. All right, I get the next deck. Either way, it's a time of freedom. So you really need to work on freeing yourself from this heavy, this heavy uh, load, okay? It's a heavy load of thinking. That's what I see. There's an overload of thoughts here that is causing uh, a withdrawal. Uh, I, I can't communicate right now. You know, I don't even want to talk to you. Okay, you may need some counseling. I mean, somebody may need some counseling. This tells me for you, you know, that you're seeking guidance in some way. And counseling can come from many different directions. It can come from somebody from above. It can come from your inner guide. It can come from a counselor. It can come from a spiritual counselor. It can come from a best friend. Okay, but I feel like many of you are seeking counseling because things are out of whack. So it's like, man, I need to bring some structure back to my life, okay? Because at this point, it feels like there is, like, you're at a dead end. Towards the end of the month... <laughs> things should be looking up, okay? You should be starting to feel more stable and secure at the beginning of the month and through the month of January. I think you're trying to make a decision. It's decision time, the, the month of January, pretty much. It's decision time, so you may be withdrawn completely. Lack of energy or, or drive or stamina to do much of anything other than, you know, contemplate your decision that you are about to make. Because I think a cycle is close to ending. This cycle needs to end to bring peace back to your life. Of course, we have that unknown card. Okay, of course we do. It's in your hands. It's in your hands. When that card comes up, it means that the, that the outcome is in your hands. It's not yet known because it's up to you. That's what that card means. I can't, I can't help you um, because it's in your hands. I'm going to read it to you. This card gets me every single time. Um, wherever the unknown card falls within a spread will indicate what area still needs to unfold and that further steps need to be taken in order to clarify the bigger picture. The unknown card can also signify the importance of looking deeper into the issue at hand in order to find answers. And that is perfect right here. That's why we have the Seven of Cups. There's confusion. You need to dig deep. Dig deep. I can't give you the answer. You have it with inside you. Okay? The, it can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and without bias. The figure in this card beckons the Quarant to take a look into her crystal ball. However, the image in the ball is cloudy and unclear. <coughs> With time, patience, and introspection, the picture will soon be revealed. It can also signify something from the past that one may not fully understand. Okay? <coughs> and I have to tell you that coughing coughing it, and everything that happens for you during one of my readings is meant for you okay so coughing is part of the throat chakra okay and when the throat chakra acts up it encourages you to speak your truth and I can truly see that you are holding something back that needs to be spoken it is time to speak up. And until you do, 
you're not going to have the ultimate happiness. It's time for this happiness, this alignment, this bliss to come back to your life. It's time for the balance to come back. It's time for harmony and healing and for you to have no fear. <coughs> Whatever is meant to be will be. I think that you have reached a period where, you know, something is over. It's a dead end. You've reached the dead end, and I, I clearly see that. There's a dead end here, and it's time for you to speak up and take action. Your future is in your own hands, okay? For you to have wish fulfillment and happiness, you are going to have to speak up. Have no fear. Have no fear. Take action. And I think this month, the beginning of January, right through to the end, you know, you're going to be contemplating how to speak your truth. And how you're going to bring balance back. How you're going to let go of this heavy, heavy weight that, that you've been carrying. So many of you are dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So that's what you have here. And many of you, I mean, for many of you, you may be dealing with a Libra. I'm not sure. Could be any sign, really, because I don't like to say signs. But for, for all, most of you watching this, it's time to clear the confusion and speak your truth. So I think this month is about deciding how you're going to do it, what you're going to say, what you really want. Be careful what you own, because what you own, owns you. That's the basis of your reading. Be careful what you own, owns you. That is the basis of your reading. If you don't let it out, if you don't make changes, if you want to stay where you are, then do nothing. If you want things to change, if you want to bring balance back, if you want to speak your truth, then that's what you need to do. And then you'll be free. And that's where this card, this is freedom right here. You will, but the thing is, is you're not free yet. Free yet. Once you speak your truth, this burden is going to be lifted. Believe it or not, you're going to feel a huge relief. And you will feel free. You will. The freedom is going to come like just like that. Sorry, this has been later than the rest. I have a, I have a stuffed nose, and so I've been putting them off. But interesting. Okay, the first card is there's nothing to worry about. You are safe. In this situation, is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotion into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. There's nothing to worry about. And I see that this is a month you're worrying about your decision. There really is nothing to worry about. You're going to make the right decision. Have faith in yourself. From Archangel Michael, explore, explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love. Helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. <laughs> that is the basis of your reading. I'm going to start it over. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love. Helping me see, understand, and assess all all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. And that is the basis of your reading. Explore your options with the, I mean, I'm telling you what, that's what's going on in January. By the end of the month, you should, I, it appears that you will be speaking your truth. And once you do, the weight will be lifted and you're free, you will feel free, 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 free. Okay? And that's when 
the ultimate love comes in because your 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 love for yourself starts to shine okay anyway so Aquarius this is what I have for you for the month of January explore your options that's the, that's the basis talk to you later